Hey there guys, welcome to my walkthrough of the 2018 OCR MEI new specification A-level maths paper 3 which is pure mathematics and comprehension. So, each question is in its own video. You can get to the playlist uh, from the description and they'll pin it as the top comment. Also, in the description are the paper 2 and paper 1 walkthroughs as well as the website to get the papers and my A-level content. Okay, if you're finding these useful, please give us a thumbs up, get subscribed, be awesome, let's go. Okay, question 4, we need to use detailed reasoning and it's 10 marks altogether. So, a curve has equation y is x minus 5 add 1 over x minus 2. The curve is shown in figure 4. So it's this delightful looking chap. Part 1 answers 2. Determine the coordinates of the stationary points on the curve. Okay, so at stationary points here at stationary points dy by dx is equal to zero so let's write y as um x minus five Add x minus 2 to the minus 1, and then dy by dx is equal to 1. Now by the chain rule, this bracket differentiates 2. Well, x minus 2 just differentiates to 1, so that's nice. The minus 1 comes down, so we get minus and then the power goes down by 1 so that goes down to minus 2 so that means 1 over x minus 2 squared so set this equal to 0 ok now then, if we add the fraction 1 is equal to 1 over x minus 2 squared, multiply through by x minus 2 squared, it's equal to 1, expand the brackets, x squared minus 4x, add 4 is equal to 1, take the 1, x squared minus 4x, and 3 is equal to 0. Factorise x uh, minus 3 x minus 1 is equal to 0. So x is equal to 1 or 3. So I found the x coordinates stationary points are well, this guy and this guy so we got this one as an x coordinate of 1 this one has an x coordinate of 3 so now we need to find the y coordinates so let's just do it up here when x is 1 y is equal to uh, x minus 5 so 1 minus 5 is minus 4 add 1 over minus 1 so that's minus 1 so we got uh, 1 minus 5 is minus 4 minus another one is minus 5 
so that's this guy down here. And then when X is 3, Y is, so it's going to be uh, 3 minus 5 is minus 2, add 1 over 3 minus 2, add 1 over 1, so that's just 1. So we got uh, minus 2 and 1 gives us minus 1. Cool. Okay, part 2 wants us to determine the nature of each stationary point. Three marks. So we can't stamping these just look at the graph. We can clearly see which one is a maximum, which one is a minimum, but three marks. We're told we need to use detailed reasoning. So we need to be thinking in terms of the second derivative. So dy by dx is 1 minus x minus 2 to the minus 2. So d squared y by dx squared is minus 2 times minus 1. So that's positive 2 x minus 2 to the minus 3. So that's 2 over x minus 2 cubed. Now when x is 1, d squared y over dx squared is equal to 2 over minus 1 cubed, uh, so that's 2 over minus 1. If you guys can hear this bird outside singing, I really apologise. It's having the time of its life. Um, so we got 2 over minus 1, which is minus 2. So, uh, 2 squared y over dx squared is less than zero, which means we have a maximum. So this point at 1 minus 5 is a maximum. When x is 3, d squared y, dx squared is equal to uh, 2 over 3 minus 2 cubed, so that's 2 over 1, which is 2. So d squared y over dx squared is greater than 0, which means that 3 minus 1 is a minimum. Cool. Okay, two one markers now. Part three wants us to write down the equation of the vertical asymptote. So, you can see that that's going to be vertical line down here. But it would be vertical, not with a little bit of wonkiness in the middle. Now, Let's see if we can spot a problem. So we are going to have a problem in this equation when x is equal to 2. Because we would then be trying to divide by 0, which we can't do. It's illegal. Don't ever do it. So the equation of the asymptote is x is equal to Two. Cool. Okay then part four. One mark again wants us to 
had juice being set of all these of eggs, for which the curve is concave upwards. So, concave up means we want the curve to be increasing, or the gradient of the curve to be increasing. So, on this left part, the gradient of the curve is decreasing. So over here, we are concave down. On this part, the gradient is increasing, so we are concave up. So, we've just said that the asymptote is x equals 2. So, the graph is concave up for x greater than 2. Boom.